Diplodenia is a type of plant that has about 120 different species in total. These plants originate from the woodlands of Central and South America and include both annual and perennial species of plant. These plants are flowering plants and can have large flowers in the summer, which are usually white, pink, or red. Many people confuse these plants with the Mandevilla species of plants, which are very similar. Diplodenia is in the Mandevilla family, but it has a decidedly different growth pattern. Mandevilla vines climb up vertical structures to seek canopy light. Diplodenia is a bushier plant whose stems grow down and hang. Diplodenia has a fuller shape than the Mandevilla. A major difference between Diplodenia and Mandevilla is the foliage. Diplodenia leaves are fine and pointed, deeply green and slightly glossy. Water the plant frequently in the summer, but let the top few inches of the soil drop before watering again. The plant can go in the ground in warmer areas or stay in a pot. Bright but indirect sun is a requirement for growing a Diplodenia plant. The best flowers are formed in a well-lit area. Pinch off gangly growth when the plant is young to force thicker, stronger branches. The only difference between Mandevilla and Diplodenia care is that Mandevillas require a trellis or staking. Diplodenia only needs a stake to keep the little plant straight as it matures. Good companion plant suggestions for Diplodenias include sweet potato vine, vitamins, and annual phlox. The Diplodenia plant has a history of medicinal use. It has ex actually also been utilized as a component for various herbal solutions. The leaves can be utilized for anti-inflammatory and antibacterial uses. And besides this, the plant can also be used to treat ulcers.